At the Indiana Association of Educational Service Centers, we are seeing an increasing interest in neuroscience-based software programs. To help us sort through the value of programs that help develop the brain, we are fortunate to have with us Dr. Patricia Wolf, author of Brain Matters, an international expert on the application of neuroscience to teaching and learning. First of all, I'd say I'm very, I'm very excited about it <laughs> because it's, it's probably the first program I've ever seen that really tackles the cognitive skills that I think kids need rather than teaching them a specific skill like how to write a paragraph or how to solve an equation. Those, those are important skills, but there are all kinds of underlying cognitive skills you need to be able to do that. So it's like... I can't even think of a good example. Instead of getting at the foundation, we're trying to treat surface areas. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. So why I'm really excited about Brainware is here is a program that takes what is neurologically competent, what we know about how brains work, also takes what we know about motivation and success and develops it into a program that is engaging and develops a whole slew of cognitive skills that kids are going to be able to use the rest of their life and helps them to get those skills at the automatic level so that you don't even have to think about let me see what do I do it comes uh, the, the whole concept is called automaticity when you do something over and over and over to the place where now it becomes automatic. I'd like to see good problem solving skills at the automatic level. I'd like to see good attention skills at the automatic level. When you say to kids, pay attention, there are a lot of kids who try but don't know how to do it. They don't have the, the basic skills to pay attention. And I think Brainware has this ability, without kids even knowing that they're working on attention, to develop some of those skills. I think my first reaction is, let's take those kids who haven't had success anywhere else, where nobody has been able to help them. These are the ones that are going to fall through the cracks. These are the ones that are going to drop out. So that, that would be you know, my first inclination. Let's, let's help these kids who just have not been, for whatever reason, have not been successful in school. But I don't think we want to limit it there. I think it can help anyone of any age to uh, increase their, their own cognitive skills. Uh, I'd like to see it, you know, implemented across the board, you know, uh, on an entire grade level and then perhaps move, you know, another grade level. Or maybe you would want to move down. I think what you're going to see are the cumulative effects as kids grow from grade level to grade level. If you get it fairly early, say a second, all the second grades had brain wear, I think a third grade teacher is going to see a tremendous amount of, of what he or she is able to do with the kids that they've not been able to do with previous classes because of that background training. So I'd say implement it as widely as you can.